Hey there, greetings again from still in Pennsylvania. Still. Still. But we have um, we've emerged out of the woods, down from the gap. We just uh, came down into the town of Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. And this is significant because it is our last stop before making it over the state line into New Jersey. So this is a uh, Delaware Water Gap. It's called that because it sits on the Delaware River in the valley or gap that the river forms between Mount Mincy, which we just came down off of, Mount Mincy, Pennsylvania, and Mount Tammany, which is on the other side in New Jersey, which uh, we'll hit tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna um, we're gonna cross the bridge into the into New Jersey. And uh, so, like with that said, we're done pretty much done with Pennsylvania. It's been about 230 miles in Pennsylvania. It has been challenging. It's not a state that has a whole lot of climbs up and down and changes in elevation, but what it does have that's challenging is all the rocks. Rocks, rocks, and rocks, and rocks. Of rocks, they never end. They never end. My shoes are done. I need a new pair, because Pennsylvania has eaten them. And you've also gone down how many times? Oh, three times I fell. Three times. Lindsay has fallen because of these rocks. Uh -huh. There's just uh, these areas where you just can't put your foot down flat. And it's it goes on like that for miles. It's these little jagged rocks. There's a park ranger just uh, that we talked to a second ago. He just passed by and haunts at us. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, these rocks, they're just, they're jagged and they're sharp and they just go on and on and on and you just can't put your foot down flat and you, you just can't get a full stride. And man, it is, it's challenging. Okay. So there we go. So we're gonna uh, enjoy the, the town for a night here. We're gonna take it into a, uh, to a hotel room, get our showers. Uh, Apparently there's no functional washer and dryer there, and there's no laundromat for three or four miles, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, uh, by hand washing our clothes in, in the tub. <laughs> this won't be our first time either. Yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Used to it, I guess you could say. Yeah. And so, oh Pennsylvania has been amazing, it's been challenging, it's been frustrating at times with these rocks. We've made good friends, we've met so many great people, trail angels, and other hikers, day hikers, section hikers, through hikers, um, hostel owners, and just uh, just a lot of great people. We made some good friends here, and uh, we came in with our family. Came into Pennsylvania with our family of seven, and since then, some have gone ahead, some have had to come off trail, and uh, so unfortunately, we're not with the group anymore. But we love them, and we cherish all the time that we spent with that group. I'll let you go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, we cherish all the time that we have spent with that group, but now we go on, and it's uh, it's gonna be just me and Liz, and uh, you know maybe we maybe we fall in with another tramway uh, in the future. Maybe it's just us for a little while, but uh, either way, it's all good. Oh, there's the outfitter. So ah, they have. Anyway, thanks for following. We uh, we appreciate all the support. We we do have. Um, there's some, some tough days out here. Sometimes you wake up and you just don't feel like lugging your pack another 12 miles that day. And it's, there's, so there's days that are really hard. And, uh, but it's, it's very nice to have, to have the support of, of everyone and, and, uh, and, and just know that people are following along at home. And uh, this, is, this is all in all an amazing experience and we, we love to have, we love to be able to share it and, and have you all along for the ride with us. So anyway. Here we go, crossing the street, and uh, we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye from Pennsylvania, and we'll say hello. Next time we say hello, we'll be in New Jersey. Alrighty now. <laughs>